When you travel on an international flight with a child under two, parents pay no more than a nominal fee. But for one couple from Revelstoke, B.C., the cost to fly their son home from a family trip to France was nearly $5,000. The CBC's Kathy Tomlinson joins us live from Vancouver with this CBC News exclusive story. So, Kathy, how did the couple end up getting hit with such a massive bill? Well, Emily, Emily Grady booked these flights on Aeroplan points, using points to bring her son and her husband with her to a conference in France. And she says there's no way the family would have been able to afford this trip otherwise. Everything went fine. Air Canada issued the tickets, and they issued two infant tickets for her son so that he would fly uh, sitting on her lap there and back. Everything went fine on the trip, too, until the shock came when they checked in at the Air Canada counter to come home. Air Canada told them that because the rules say children over two must have a seat, her son had to get his own seat because he had turned two on the trip. That was $4,600, the last-minute full fare. And here's what Emily Grady has to say about that. It was just a shock. It just seemed absurd to pay that much for a, our son to come back with us. It basically doubled our travel expenses with the purchase of that one ticket. Now, this isn't the only complaint that we've heard about Aeroplan. In fact, it was recently rated the worst rewards points program uh, in a survey of frequent flyers. And so, Kathy, how did Aeroplan make good with the Grady family? Well, once we contacted them, they looked into this and they found that they actually had the child's birth date wrong in their system and they are now issuing Emily Grady a full refund for that $4,600 hit. So that's interesting. So I wonder, Kathy, this is a key question for you, is if you hadn't gone public with this, would Aeroplan have made good with the family? I, I know it's a tough question, but we, you, there must be other complaints out there where you just, you just can't physically tell all of the stories. Yeah, well, it's, it's hard to know. Uh, Emily Grady actually contacted Air Canada about this with her initial complaint, not Aeroplan. So we don't know how Aeroplan would have responded. However, Air Canada didn't do anything to get a hold of Aeroplan to try to fix this until we got involved.